Hi there, it's Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com here with Bruna, Bruna Reanimator. I'm playing against an actual fan here, John Banna. He's playing Red Deck Wins. Let's see how this deck goes up against Red Deck Wins. I'm going to think it's going to be horrible. So let's see how fast he kills me. Hopefully it doesn't start off with one drop. We do have kind of a good draw, though, if we can actually survive. Yes, no first turn play because we got the Invisible Stalker with two Gift of Orzovas. And that's going to be three damage per turn. Hopefully we can draw into an Ethereal Armor and then we're fine. Or even like a Silvery Paladin, but he's got plenty of removal um, in his deck. Lingering Souls is good, too. It allows me to put out some chump blockers. So I'll probably play the Invisible Stalker second turn and then follow it up with a Gift of Orzova. So let's see if an Ash Zealot comes out. It's not what I want to see. Uh-oh, even worse. Hopefully it's not a burning tree into a lightning mauler. Huh. Yep, that's what it is. Okay. So, yeah, I know his deck inside out because I just helped him build it. We're able to. He just barely started MTGO, and we got a deck put together, so red deck wins. And put it together for 90 tickets, uh, and it's, you know, got four Hail Riders, four Boros Reckoners, um... Just mountains right now, but yeah, it was pretty pretty cheap to be able to put a full deck together for just 90 tickets. So that's all that, that it took him to get into MTGO. Alrighty, so the good old Invisible Stalker is going to come out here. And hopefully, like I said, we can... I think it might be in our best interest just to throw out a Lingering Souls to try to chump block. Because I really don't think that we're going to be able to get Mr. Invisible Stalker up big enough. I mean, I, I want to put a Gift of Orzova, and maybe that is better just to throw a Gift of Orzova, but we're just dead if Hellrider comes out. My sideboard is pretty decent versus Red Deck Wins because it does have, like, Supreme Verdicts, but even then, I don't know if it can actually survive even fourth turn a lot of times with the Hellrider. He did go first, and a lot of time that is the difference between winning and losing his Red Deck Wins. I don't know if I actually... I might want to just trade the light, the Invisible Stalker for the Lightning Mauler here. I think I do. I think I just I just trade it. I think that's a good trade. Save two damage, go to 14, don't get hit huge by a Hellrider next turn. Throw out two chump blockers. He's got no play. I'm, I, I gotta assume he's got like Searing Spears and stuff. Um, yeah, so Glacial Fortress is the better play here. I mean, we could go another Invisible Stalker and then have Gift of Orzova, but I think the better move here is just to chuck out senior lingering souls and hope that a hell rider doesn't come down and this will hopefully buy us a couple turns to either i i wouldn't want to put a gift of reserve on a lingering souls token so maybe i did play this wrong i'm not sure i just i'm worried about a hell rider here i think it is going to come out Rot row. Yep, Mr. Hellrider. So we're going to end up taking five here. I am going to kill the Burning Tree Emissary if he attacks with it. Yep, so we're going we're gonna to double block on the Burning Tree Emissary, and I'll be taking five. So hopefully he doesn't have two Hellriders in his hand. Or Yeah, I'm in big trouble if that's the case. But we do just have to chump here. And, yep, go down to a nine. And I guess we could play an Invisible Stalkers and flash back a Lingering Souls. Ooh, but we don't want this to come into play. Yeah, I don't want to take damage here, do I? Oh, this is just... We're just so dead to another Hellrider. But if I put out Invisible Stalkers and a Lingering Souls and flashback Lingering Souls, we can chump the Hellrider. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Yikes. Yeah, Red Dick wins is just too fast for Bruna. I think that is the better play. We have to take the two here. We flash it back. And we throw out Invisible Stalker. So, again, hopefully he doesn't have, like, a searing... I think I will just chump one spirit in front of the Hellrider. And then we're going to pray for a Ethereal Armor or a Bruna or even a Bruna won't help. Yeah, a Bruna will help, actually. But actually, we can't. No, we can't cast a Bruna. We would need a land. We need two lands before we can cast Bruna. So hopefully not Double Hellrider here. Yeah, there's really nothing I can do against Double Hellrider.
I think we just chump, chump, chump on the one Hell Rider, but we're going to take four right off the... No, we can't. We can't chump, 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 or I'm just dead. We just have to chump, chump. And he pillars me. I, I'm still fine if I chump, chump. I'll go to a one. And... Yeah. <laughs> We're just playing dead next turn to, to... I don't think there's anything that can get me out of this. I mean, detention spheres aren't in my main board. Definitely the blind obediences are coming in. I think we might be a decent post-sideboard here. But... Yeah, we'll see see what happens. An ethereal armor plus an or get to Orzo Orzova won't even get me out of this. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's nothing I can do here. I'm just dead. So there's Bruna. But I'm just <laughs> just dead to the double hell rider. There's nothing I can do there. Okay, so we'll go on to the, the sideboard here. You can see my sideboard. The blind obedience will come in. I don't think Cursed S Hold comes in, but the Supreme Verks and Detention Spheres come in. I think Sever might be a little too slow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out everything here. I'm gonna take out the invisible stalkers and the silver blade paladins. I'm gonna keep the lingering souls in. And then what I usually do is I just take two Brunas out and two Unburial Rites out, but I might actually want to take these Forbidden Alchemies out. And maybe I should just leave like an invisible stalker or two in. I think this is the best I can do. Because I do want to find a target for these. And hopefully I can just, this blind obedience can come in out pretty quick. And I can hold off the hasters until I can get Brune out. So yes, I like to play first. Uh, decent hand. Got the lingering souls to chump. Got the four lands. Got a forbidden alchemy to help me find the stuff that we need. But he does not have to mulligan. We'll, we'll go Watery Grave, pass the turn, <laughs> and hope for a Chronic Flooding. No, no Noble. I'm okay with a Cackler, just not a Noble. Alright, Cackler's fine. That is going to cost me two damage, but I think I'll be able to stabilize with the Souls. I didn't want to see another Gift. But I can Lingering Souls next turn and hopefully stave off some damage. I hope not a another Burning Tramissary Lightning Mauler comes out this turn. Otherwise, I'm just screwed. I need to top into a Supreme Verdict. And Hellrider is my... Oh, okay, just a Lightning Mauler. That's fine. So he can pair these guys. Oh, and he doesn't end up even pairing them because he's going to try to pair it with a Boros Reckoner, I'm sure, next turn. So I kind of just want to forbid an alchemy and try to set up my combo. But I think I just have to check out a Lingering Souls. There's Bruna. And so I just need to grab some lands for her. Um, yeah, the best thing here to do is just is just Lingering Souls. And he probably... I know that his sideboard does have a 1 of Electricery. So I hope that he he doesn't have that in his hand. Otherwise, I think I just, I just might cry here. So I'll definitely block the Lightning Mauler if he pairs it with the Reckoner. I mean, Hellrider could come out right now, too. <laughs> All right, that's what I thought was going to happen. So he's going to probably pair these. And I'm going to take out a Lightning Mauler. Or maybe I take out a Cackler. Again, I want a Chronic Flooding next turn. I think that's the best option. Yeah, I'm just going to... I'm going to I'm gonna block a Lightning Mauler here. And just take five. Go to a go to a thirteen, and then I can flash back my lingering souls. Supreme verdict. That's actually great. You know what? I might actually wait a turn to do it, or should I just do it right now? I think I actually do it right now. So I'm gonna attack in here with the spirit, and I am going to verdict right now. And hopefully that will slow him down enough for me to get this Bruna out. So we do need to top into a land. The good thing about Red Deck Wins, if I get this Bruna out, it's over. There's really nothing they can do. I mean, they can Skull, skull Crack, and I know he does have four on his side, but I, I don't know if he even brought him in. I'm hoping not a Hellrider comes out. Just a Rakdos, and I hope it doesn't get paired. With a Lightning Mauler? No, another Cackler. So maybe I should have waited a turn. Oh, wow. <laughs> 
So he probably is going to pair here. Yep, so I'm going to take four, go down to a nine. He's basically out of cards. Hope he doesn't top into a Hell Rider. That'd be the worst for me. I hope that I top into a Supreme Verdict or even a Detention Sphere will work. Another Lingering Souls. That's definitely not what I wanted to see. Uh, okay, so the best thing to do here is pray. Ooh, I want to save a black. Definitely want to save a black. Pray for a land with the Forbidden Alchemy. Oh, ouch. I cannot believe we did not hit into a... Ouch, ouch, ouch. We did not hit into a land. Yikes. Well, that's probably going to be game. As I, I'm sure he's got like any sort of pillar. A pillar won't actually do it, but a searing spear will. And... <laughs> And I really don't think there's anything I can do here. Because even if I Detention Sphere... Well, I'd have to draw into a land, Detention Sphere, his Cacklers, and... So I'm taking six. But if that's a Searing Spear, like I said, I'm dead. I mean, all he has to do is draw into a Brimstone Volley or a Searing Spear, and I'm pretty much screwed. Or a Hell Rider. Yep. <laughs> so see if I would have drawn. Nope, I wouldn't even drawn into a land the next one. So I did end up not, like missing out that. But I think Brimstone Volley would have. Well, would have put me down to a one if I would have jumped with a a uh, Lingering Souls. Anyway, so that was kind of a bad bad showing. That's I guess that that's what I'm showing you that Bruno has a a very tough time against aggressive decks. Uh, this is Kevin from RogueDeckBuilder.com. Thanks for watching.